Our top story tonight at 10, 10 days after a school board member's confrontation with a no on eight protester, Ken Mettler faced a room of praise and prosecution at the first Kern High School District meeting since that incident. Eyewitness News reporter Amity Idrisi joins us from the newsroom and has more on what people told the board this evening. Amity? Kurt, it was standing room only at tonight's meeting. A packed crowd addressed the board, some in support of Mettler, others expressed concerns about Mettler's actions. It's this video that started the controversy surrounding Ken Mettler at a Proposition 8 rally in October. The video shows what looks like Mettler kicking and punching a no on 8 protester. Mettler said he was defending himself. On Monday night, people addressed the issue head on. If anyone watched the video, you could hear the calmness in Ken's voice as he was speaking to the people. I think this is blown way out of proportion and I just want to give my support to Ken. During the Kern High School District board meeting, people shared their opinions and complaints, some calling for Mettler to step down. We cannot have someone of his violent nature continue to push his religious beliefs and political agendas on the staff and students of this county. Others supported Mettler, calling him a role model. I've known him forever. He's never been confrontational. He will debate with you on anything you want to debate on. He's not a troublemaker and he stands his ground when need be. Thank you very much, Ken, and I'm glad to see you here. But some students who spoke disagreed. Our high school has a zero tolerance policy on violence. And had this happened on one of our campuses, there would have been severe sanctions. By allowing Mr. Mettler to remain a trustee creates a blatant double standard for our students. The Kern High School District has said because Mettler was on his own time and not representing the district, no action would be taken against him. At Monday's meeting, fellow board member Chad Vegas openly talked about the issue, showing support for Mettler. While the situation was unfortunate and all of us believe and know Ken should not have walked across the street, at the same time, um, a man has a right to defend himself. The Prop 8 opponent involved in the confrontation, Robert Betowitz, pressed charges against Mettler early last week. When we spoke to Mettler after that, he said he had no choice but to press charges against Betowitz in return. We will, of course, let you know what happens. Reporting live from the Eyewitness Newsroom, I'm Amity Adrisi. Kurt, back to you. Okay, Amity, thank you.